one evil act uh, with the abduction of Madeline seems to be generating so much good and we seem to be on the receiving end of that goodwill and wishes and it certainly restored my faith. We are pleased that the family liaison officers from Leicestershire are now working closely with the Portuguese police and in keeping us informed. Uh, you're right, there was only a small window of opportunity, but... And there was a small window of opportunity. Please continue to pray for Madeline. She's lovely. The Portuguese police uh, have assured us that they were looking for Madeline alive and not, uh, you know, Madeline being murdered. And I don't know of any information that's changed that. If Madeline is dead, we need to know about it. As parents, we need to know about it. And how do you think that you could have opportunity to get into the apartment if you were checking on the children every 15 minutes? Uh, uh, how often did you say we were checking? 15 minutes? That's, yes. that's not what we've said. You know, no? And it's been widely reported that it was about 30 minutes. Now, that was what our checks were. Clearly, different people were going at different times.
the shutters which had been down all week. And when I went in and there was a gust that blew the curtains open, that's when I noticed that the shutter had been pulled up. Press a button and we're yeah. all gone and it's all finished and we're all together and gone, whatever. new to this it's awful and you know it's horrible for anyone to have to go through and we're just doing what we think's best and we don't know we don't know if we're, what we're doing is right It was portrayed in the media that uh, there was very strong evidence that Madeline was dead, people see DNA and other things, and that we were responsible for hiding our body. On allegations the couple had sedated their children the night Madeline disappeared, Kate McCann refused to be drawn. You know, I'm not even going to answer that question, I'm afraid. I mean, it's ludicrous and, you know, these sort of questions and the publishing of them are nonsense. And we shouldn't be given them There's the time There's absolutely say. no suggestion um, that Madeline or the children were drugged. And it's Did outrageous. you give to your kids something like Paul to help them sleep? You know, we're not going to comment on anything, but, you know, there is absolutely no way we used any sedative drugs or anything like that. And, you know, we'll, we have cooperated fully with the police. We'll answer any queries, um, any tests that they want to do. It any make you wonder about whether there's any substances used to keep them asleep.